They range in age from 5 to 8 years of age, 18 years of age. And once a week, every week for two months, they have practiced right here on the Far West Ranch. They have given up a big part of their summer to bring you our opening ceremonies. They did it all to make sure that each and every performance starts with a step in the right direction. All right, this is right my buddy Eddie Ragsdale. I preached for him this morning. Two Eddie, tell us what this is. We're at the National Championship Chuck Wagon Race. It's the 36th annual National Championship Chuck Wagon Race. Clinton, Arkansas. Race number four. All right, let's get in the action. Time to be here with the Classic Division. It is a one-man race. Eddie Ragsdale is down to the track, it ain't over. It is a rock and a roll. Woo! Rockin' and rollin'. The number two spot right now is kinda stupid, but rockin' and rollin' out the back side by about two wagon lengths. Kinda stupid. Too stupid to stop it is from romance. Rockin' and rollin'. The two-time national champion is in the lead as we're beginning to make that final corner, final turn and down the home stretch. Too stupid to stop with some problems on the track. Incredible but trouble. It's rocking and rolling and it's kind of stupid. Rocking and rolling, kind of stupid. We're going to get him at the finish line. It's going to be kind of stupid from Liberty, South Carolina. What a chuck wagon race now. What a Here they go. Here they go. There it is. See what happens here. See, Morgan's on first. Get on your view. Morgan's on first. They're out. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. all right, yeah. Stephanie. He's easy to pick out right now because yeah. he is in the number one position. As we break him from the Grand Sands right and Cover Timers this. right now, Morgan Speaks uh, was the number one guy. Now he's the number two guy with he's a red roll okay. mule. Picking him up and putting him down as we hit him the, the ball. back right side of the track. Here's a guy that I would say is about from here to downtown behind the other three. As we move to, it is Cole Basham. Cole Basham, the number one spot. Morgan Spinks Basham with a downhill drag right here. Hey, how about some noise for the mule raise yeah. in Basham. You get it done today. Basham was a 15 and 4, so Leslie Ballard wins the mule race competition. As we look to the four up mule. We're going to take a run right the short position. track. It is the injury list about Jefferson, Arkansas. Injury list as we take him into the dip and out the back side. It's four up, it's four across, it's four however you want to hook them. Injury list. Second place. Uh, second play going to be seriously dumber. Wilberton, Oklahoma. But still in the lead. Injury list. Them mules are not Jefferson, Jefferson, Arkansas. Uh -uh. That's what's right here, you want to take this turn as close as you possibly can. Get them on a downhill run. Injury list. Jefferson, Arkansas. They're going to catch him. They got legs. Seriously. Oh. Seriously, Dumber. Oh, I don't know. Outriders weren't there. The only team that qualified was American Outlaws with a 110.7. The start's good. They're ruling. They're ruling. They're coming to you. Here we are in the high-low as we fought, as we look to, as we look to high, low, hard, and fast, taking them down into the dip and down to the backside. I want to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the National Championship Chuck Wagon Races. I we got to be nuts. That's the name there. of the wagon from Clarksville, Texas. I'm not, not sure any of them are going to get that. Yeah, one of them are in place. Yeah, he, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> firecrack. we got the drone and hot pursuit. The fireworks are underway. We're going to celebrate a little bit early here. We got to be nuts. Come on, Outrider. Come on. It's going to work for oh, wow. Yeah, he just got it by nose. Wow. They didn't hire us to judge him.
Yeah, it's official, 57 and 9. Behind that, would have been a 101.3 high, low, hard and fast. No outrider, freaks on the leash, 103.1, but no time, no outrider. Time to beat is a 54 and 6. It comes from that, we gotta be nuts, that time was turned in in yesterday afternoon's performance. Race number 3 of 4. As we take you back to the four of you. Bill cannot get on for nothing. Well, it's looking good. I'd ride it and I'm looking for you. Ah, wheel to wheel, rain to rain, and bit to bit. As we take him into the dump, we're going to call for Hog I-90 proven in Triple S. Oh, I think it's going to be Triple S. going to be Triangle S, that is, as they move to the backside. Triangle left the number one spot as we look to Hogeye 90 proof. I don't see the other right now in the number two spot down. going down the backside. Bob Spades, Red Oak, Oklahoma with a third place goal. Make it about four, make it five wagon lengths as we come into that turn in the home stretch. Still, as we look to the leader, it is Triangle S. They're, they're, they're out right now. Triangle S right to the finish they line. Don't matter when they they're going to get there, but I don't know about an outrider. <laughs> None of the outriders are going to make it. No. I think how well they buck. The Cowboys as well, 1 to 50, according to how well they handle that degree of bucking that, that horse produces. Dakota Rabbit's going to be the next one. 77, it is going to be Kickapoo. Kickapoo! Kickapoo does her job once again. What a baymare she is. She's on that, but here's a kid that I think a lot of now. He's a cowboy kid. He can rope steers, he can ride bulls, he can fight bulls, and he can show ride blocks. Come on, Lane Jason. Come on, Lane Jason. Race fans, what do you think about that kid, huh? What do you think about that? My friend, there you come. 78 points. Here we go. Hey, there's a kid, he ain't playing oh, either now, he's, he's all about it, he's all about it. There's a little bit over a thousand acres of the ball well, but I'm going to tell you what, you're going to nod your head, you're going to be right in the middle of it, friend. Oh, Horse. And that the conversation ends, you listen to the hum of a diesel running 80 miles an hour. Oh, and right, right, right here to prove that you can become a national champion. <laughs> like a speed bump. I mean, just thumped him. Did you see that, Eddie? Yeah. Just speed bumped him. Good thing it's rubber tire. Huh? Oh, my. E number three of ten. There it is. We're going to shoot that start and pass the way out of the runner in three. Get him around those ram barrels. Go good start. Go. We're going to take you up that hill and hit him with that. Don't ride a horse. Hit him with that number one spot by yeah, about one flag of length. And then they move to Bulls, Butter, Baxter, Springs, Kansas. The Bull Wagon. That was getting old. The this. Bull Wagon, the number two spot. The number one hidden valley. Conway as we bring him down. Right now with this track, that conditions as they are, down. this could be some of the most dangerous moments in wagon racing right here. In the lead is in the line. Ah, the bull wagon, no. make a move to the outside. Look at this, we got four so great mules. Pick it up, putting them down, one out right with where you need to be. To the far side, it is the bull wagon. Hidden Valley, number two spot, bull wagon, Hidden Valley. The bull wagon, Baxter Springs with a 51. 50.1, but no time, no outrider. The only team that qualified, well, Hidden Valley with a 52.1, and then Hall Guy with a 59.2. No lead change as we oh. down to four. Oh, he made Get it. up that hill with Winslow's white lightning. You've got to like this start right here. 
Winslow. Oh, got the, I don't know if he can get there, but there's a cowboy in an orange shirt. He's carrying a cook stove. He crosses that finish line. He's got to be in that wagon. Let's see if he's cowboy enough to put it in there. He's got to get close enough. Winslow's white lightning. And we bring him into the grandstand run right now. Number two, Triangle S. But Winslow, Winslow's white lightning. They got it. Hey. No championship truck wagon race, don't they? They're gonna get that cook stove in there. How about race five? I remind you, Daddy, driving them daddy nuts. They're in there. That's your rookie team from Thursday, and here they come. Oklahoma team in the pink. Oh, as we look to climb that mountain with driving daddy nuts, the rookie team that qualified out of Thursday. Rookie competition, they made it to the national finals. As we bring them down that wagon, bring them down that hill, it's driving daddy nuts to the great team of mules to the outside. It's oh, okay. outlaw game from Leslie, Arkansas. Right now, as we look to the change, as we look to the leaders, it's gonna be outlaw game, Leslie, Arkansas. Bring them down to this finish line, driving daddy nuts. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you say? How about a round of applause for Outlaw Gang? In the number two spot, driving Daddy Nuts. Gets there first with a 50.3. I can see why they did. They jumped the line so there's no time. Behind that, well, in front of that was Cedar Creek with a 48.8. That's the time that's right, the right, 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 right. in heat number Ooh, six. Buddy. Down Thank to number you. seven we take you. Oh, guy, number two from Nashville, Arkansas. They are a four-time national champion here. The you national championship down, races. Over here, yep. Across the top of the hill we take you, and it is hog guy number two. Well, they went across the top, he tossed the Yeah, stove. man, we're it's not a player on Championship show. Sunday, hog guy. They're ahead by about ten wagon lengths. That's Raging Rednecks in the number two spot. Closing the gap, but it's going to be too little, too late as we move to hog guy number two. Style Mule Company, Desperados number two, going nuts. Shout out, Steve, but here they come now. Here we come at eight. We're going to get to the times in seven, but right now the important thing is that contest that is right, on right, the race on there. number eight. Now. Shout out, Stupid, yeah, going yeah, to yeah, Oklahoma. Shout out, Stupid, in the lead. As we bring them across the top side of that mountain down right, right. to the descent, coming down to the bottoms and the grandstand run. It is was. Southern Style, Southern Style Mule. Shut up, stupid. As we look to the number one team right now, it is Shut Up. Burning them up. By about three or four, we're going to close the gap to the Pima Style Mules right here. Oh, yeah. Shut up, stupid. We're going to get it done. It's pretty simple. It's now or never. Oh, a good start oh, on the down. Really the bar 4W from Pleasant Plains. They're going to be first up at Mountainside. Bar 4W, the number one spot. That's what's important is the black powder smoke rolling out of the back of that wagon. <laughs> That's the way out. Coming down that hill. Into the Bar 4W, Whiskey Throttle right down the number two spot. Bar 4W, Whiskey Throttle. Bam, Bar 4W, we got number two finish is going to be Whiskey Throttle. That's the way it's going. No. Here's the time. Got up that good grade. Bar 4W would have been 44 and 8. No time, they broke the pattern. Behind that is a time of 46 and 5. That belongs to Whiskey Throttle. Catch a mix, they're loose, a 47 and 8. They got an outrider sitting right there where he belongs, Daddy. We got As we look for the leaders right now, it's going to be the Hee Haw Express from out of Dyke, Texas. Wow. Coming out of that hillside. 
Look out, ladies and gentlemen, it ain't over till it's over. Here we come with our guys from Hee Haw Express by about eight or nine wagon lengths. I don't know about an outlier. Those shirts don't match up enough for me. As we look to the number two guys, oh, wow. right there. And then on the Friday, first thing, they run that barrel up between them and they couldn't go. He caught the barrel in the middle of the thirty six stopped them right out here. Oh wow. Thunder rolling. Back to the track. Arrow Lee Underwood in number two spot. Stone County. By about one wagon length. That's where we are as we move to the big track. To the long track in the classic. Stone County. Continues to lead. It's the final turn as we bring it down the yeah, home stretch now. Yeah. Making a move to the outside. It is. Push Mountain last dollar, then Stone County, but we're going to shake things around. It's going to be Push Mountain last dollar and the Thunder Road. Stone, That's Scotland, good. Arkansas. Triple B, Marshall, Arkansas. American Thunder, Thunder Sector, Center Ridge. You see the black horses ran up on there? Yeah. <laughs> to go. Here we go. First across that line, Bush Mountain with a 112.6, no time, no outrider. Would have been the Thunder Road with a 114 plan, but no time, no outrider. Move, Chad, move. Stone County with a 115, it's official. And we're started and rolling in race two. American Thunder, fleeing the scene, side on the number two spot. Dead. Good. As we move into the dip, mount the back side. It is fleeing the scene with that orange start in the number two spot. It is American Thunder. So fleeing the scene and American Thunder. Take you down the back side and we're going to stack them up just like that by about eight wagon lengths. It is fleeing the scene. All right, as we bring you to this finish line right here, it's going to be fleeing the scene. Dean Oldman told you, all you have to do is the hats laying out there. first across that line. All right, does not have to be in front of that wagon, but you've got to finish. And that stove has got to be on the inside. 101, Burgundy Tark, closest to the grandstands. They run to it all season, Dizzy D. There you go. Okay, there we go. Pretty smooth right down. now. Well, pretty pretty smooth. For that for it's all come down to race number 10 and B and B. Push Mountain. Push Mountain into the lead as we take it down the back side. It is Push Mountain. It is B and B fall. Wow, they're running right As we look at the number one or number two team, it is too close to call. As we run them wheel to wheel, rain to rain, and bit to bit. B and B far to the back side. B and B to the inside of the track. To the far side of the track. It is Push Mountain Ranch. We're going to bring them into this corner right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, Heading wide. down this stretch is going to be B and B far for Brian, Indiana, making a move on this Push Mountain Ranch. Push Maybe. Mountain Ranch. B and B. As we come to that finish line, wow. our man oh. is As the rules go, 5,124 horses and mules. And you got to throw the stone. You got to do your entire job that you had to do to start. With. You, know, you, you just do not have to finish in front of that wagon. Oh. Now, it's white knuckle. It's a sprint to win it and the runoff. 
Here we go. Oh, right, I got no the barrel. Off the barrel. All right, to this side right here. Rocking and rolling at the three spot across that finish line. There's the winner.